now we are going to start making the food. We're going to start making everything we need to grow the bacteria, which starts with the food. So, we're going to start with this thing called LB, but we're going to use LB agar, which is LB but agar combined with it, so it doesn't spill everywhere. We're going to do another video about just doing LB. But we, the, by the way, the bacteria does not eat the agar. It only eats the LB. So that's the reason we can just use LB instead of LB agar. So we're going to need to measure the LB, or in this case, LB agar, with a scale. Now we're going to have to use a scale that has milligrams, like you can have the option to use milligrams, not grams. Because we're putting 37 milligrams, so you, with that we have, we're not doing 37 grams. Because like, of course, grams is a lot bigger than milligrams. Point grams. We're also going to use water, which we're going to use for something we're going to talk about later. We use distilled water, which we put into a tube, one of these tubes that shows you what the stuff is, like five milliliters stuff like that. So we're gonna fill this up at the top. We're not gonna show you how to do this because it's pretty obvious how you do this. Now we're also gonna use a flask. We're gonna use a flask because with the flask we're gonna put in the microwave. We're gonna put all the food in the microwave. Also don't worry if bacteria goes in the food because we're about to put in the microwave. The reason we're putting in the microwave is so that if any bacteria accidentally went inside, we, it's going to die for the microwave. Though the bacteria we're using is not going to die because we didn't put it in yet. We, you could also use a glass jar because we don't want anything to crack or to like explode or melt if you use plastic. So that's why we're using glass jars. And the final things we're gonna use, we're gonna use a poison to kill anything inside the Petri dish that is not the bacteria we're using. If you're just trying to put random bacteria inside, we don't use this, but if you're trying to put a specific bacteria, you're gonna use this. Now we're using a specific type of poison because our bacteria resistant this type, which is called cannabisin. But all we have to do is research your bacteria you're using and see what poisons it's immune to that other bacteria will die to, or the common bacteria would die to. But we're gonna have to measure this in a way. Also, the reason we put the distilled water from earlier is because we're gonna put very little of this. So we're gonna put some extra, but then we're gonna dilute it a bit. So the way we put it in, is with a pipette and of course the pipette like uh, heads. So now we're going to talk about everything we need to measure, which is only three things because we don't measure scales or petri dishes or whatever. We only measure the things that we need to measure, which is 10 milliliters of water. 10 microliters of the poison, 
of the antibiotics and 0.37 grams of the LV agar. So we are going to put the water inside the flask. So now that now we're going to go take the water. Also, I'm just saying it's at 30 milliliters. We're going to use 10 as said we just said. So it's going to be after we pour this 20. See, now it's 30. Now we're going to pour some. Now it's at 25 around. Pour maybe a bit more. Still not quite there. Not quite there. I think that's about 20. And now that's it. So now we're going to measure the LB agar into a scale. Basically the same thing as what we just did to the water. It's just slightly different because we're using the solids and we're using a scale. We're going to have to put very low, so we're going to have to be very careful with this. So here we go. You have to go like very, very low. So. You don't want to make sure it all splatters out once. Oh, that's pretty true. That's close. Okay. It's point three nine, but it's very close. And it would work if it's slightly more, slightly less. So now we are going to put the solution into a microwave so that A, the LV agar inside here dissolves, inside the flask dissolves, and so that also at the same time we kill some bacteria that might have accidentally sneaked in. So we're going to put it in, we're going to start it for a few seconds, and then after that, we're going to, once we see foam come out of it, we're going to go and take it out and spin it around a bit and see if there's some, see if there's some LB agar that remains in there. This also kills the bacteria, so that's. I think it starts spinning, maybe? Can't tell. But I think it might have started to spin. Okay, now we go and we take it out, which is a bit hard to do with a glove. Swirl it a bit. I think we need to put it in for a bit more. Let's start one. Not falling, not falling. Oh. Nice <coughs> one. Falling. You could probably be able to like open it slightly faster and you'd see a bit of foam. But I think that's about good. So, you put it inside the microwave for about 30 seconds, and then you make sure it's clear. I see that it's that ours is pretty clear, and now we're going to move on to the next step. Now, we put the pipette to 10 microliters. 
just like that. So now we are gonna put our antibiotics inside the flask. Once it is about warm enough that you can hold it without burning it, then you open your antibiotics and then you take your pipette and then before you put the pipette inside the can of the antibiotics you push a bit down until you feel some resistance hold it down put it into the can of mycin and then stop holding it inside the can of mycin close the can of mycin so now we have sucked up the can of mycin or the antibiotics you're using and then we push all of it inside the flask or jar you're using now we put the mixture inside the petri dish two things we have to do one is to put it slowly so that we don't create bubbles and two is not to touch the tea petri dish too much after that so that we do not make it unleveled we won't because we really want it level so we take that out we open this and as i said slowly put the mixture in And now I'm going to shake it a bit to get rid of all the drips. Put it upside down. And this is 